As you can see, we have a survey, your statistician, you run a survey. Um, show percent and average. Well, we have a keyword, everybody. Average of 45 minutes. And another keyword with the standard deviation of 12 minutes in the store. Well, the length of the time spent in the store, normally distributed, okay, they're represented by X values, and it doesn't mention anything about confidentiality of the data or not. So we're going to assume that the data are publicly accessible. Question says, find the probability that Shopper will be in the store between 24 to 54 minutes. What is the probability that they spend more than 39 minutes in store? Well, let's take a look at our board. So here we have the following. So this is our example. Our example says, I have the following case. We want to know what is the probability that our X is bounded between 24 minutes to 54 minutes. Again, since it doesn't mention anything about confidentiality, it but just leave your X as it is and use your calculator using normal CDN for X. So remember that it's in between. It means that my lower limit and upper limit are already given to me. Lower limit, and I have my upper limit. Well, okay. So I need to use my calculator, normal CDF, second bars, normal CDF, Again, if you're using TI-83, just use parenthesis, your lower limit, your upper limit, and the mean, which is given to us as, let's see, the mean is 45 minutes, and the standard deviation is 12. Or if you're using TI-84 and upper or your emulator, the lower limit is 24, the upper limit is 54, mean is 45 minutes, and the standard deviation is 12 minutes. Okay, so let's use our calculator. The second Mars, normal CDF. Well, I have 24. Well, the next number is 54, and then we have 45, and then we have, let's see, standard deviation, which is 12. Cool, all is done. 73.33 minutes. 73 73.33% approximately. So what's the meaning of that? It means that if I randomly select a shopper and that shopper spends between 24 to 54 minutes in the store, it's 73.33%. Okay, the second one says, hey, now, what is the probability that that random person spent more than 39 minutes in the store? More than, it means that your lower limit is given. More than, your lower limit is given. This is your lower limit. Offer limit, it must be a positive number, a large positive number. Why is that? Because the graph continues. So second, Mars, normal CDF. And then if you're using TI-83, just use your lower limit, which is 39. Upper limit, use a large positive number, like 100, like 1,000. Comma, mean is 45 minutes and standard deviation is 12. 
If you're using TI-84 for your emulator, the lower limit is 39. The upper limit is a large positive number like 100, 1000. Mean is 45 minutes with standard deviation, 12 minutes. Very good. So let's do the calculation. Second bars, normal CDF, 39. 100, mean is 45, standard deviation is 12, and paste to the calculation for me, it's 69.15%. 69.15%. That's the probability that you randomly select the person, and that person spends more than 39 minutes in the store. So the second part of the question says, well, how many shoppers would you expect to be in the store? How many shoppers? Okay. I have the probability. Now I want to know how many shoppers. Well, okay, there is a very simple calculation. How many people are in the store? The same as for this guy. How many people are in the store? What are we going to do? Well, this calculation is just a basic calculation. What are you going to do? Remember that the question says, suppose you have 200 shoppers entered the store, okay? What is the number of people who spend between 24 to 54 minutes in the store? We have the probability. We have that area. You just need to do the multiplication. 200 people times 73.33% or just point. 7333. The same is here. If you assume 200 people entered in the store, how many people spend more than 39 minutes? We have the probability. It is 0.6915. Very good. So if you multiply these two numbers together, you're going to get about 147 people in the store. Okay, so it means that uh, in the store you have 147 customers who spend between 24 to 54 minutes. What about the second one? If I multiply 200 by 0.6915, how many people do you have? Do a calculation and give me the number. So we get about 139 customers or people in the store who are spending more than 39 minutes. So they can use this information um, when they are constructing a new store. They use this information to make the uh, capacity of the store to be as accurate as it is. Based on the data that they have, they make predictions for the new uh, construction or the new store. That's why you see some stores are smaller than the other ones, because based on the past data, the number of people who spend time in the store might be as small as 147 or might be as large as 1,000. Very good. 